Hello everybody, AJ Rizek here, and today I will be walking through the process of setting up my Kubuntu 14.04 desktop. You know, it, it's it's not bad the way that it is set up by default, um, but you know, it's uh, the great thing about KDE is that you can tweak it to your heart's desire, and uh, you know, while the default look isn't bad, uh, it's definitely not me. So we're going to get right to work on on making some changes and uh, dressing it up the way that I like it and configuring it so that uh, you know it works out great for my my uh, my workflow. One of the great things about KDE 4 series as opposed to the newer 5 series is just the sheer volume of themes that are available. Now a lot of new themes are being cranked out for uh, for the new KDE Plasma 5 uh, however uh, just uh, you know because of how long it's been around there there's just tons and tons of themes for KDE 4. So I am at uh, kdelook.org going through all the themes here you can see I I just uh, selected KDE4 from the uh, from the side menu and just you know scroll through here find something that you like install it and uh, I'm liking this uh, this Zephyr here and uh, it also besides the uh, the theming it includes the uh, the icon so uh, you know kind of one-stop shopping there of course you could always go and if you are not too thrilled with the look of the uh, the icons go and install different icons and in fact while you're here on KDE look um, there is a where's it yeah right there uh, they got icons listed right there you can go and uh, and take a look at some of their other icons but I really like the look and uh, the icons look good to me so simply download this follow their instructions right here on on how to install it you do need to install um, the the QT curve uh, theme engine to be able to use this uh, this theme package so and now that one's not installed by default so you're going to need to go to your to your package manager uh, move on discovery whatever however it is that you like to install software um, and install QT curve theming and then once that is done you can install uh, this uh, this uh, theme package so let's go and do that. And like I said, I've already got got it installed on my system, but I'll kind of walk you through setting it up. Let's go to system settings. And we'll start out in application uh, application appearance, yeah. And first we'll go to style. We want for widget style. We're going to need to go to the QT curve. And if you would like to, you can go here to fine tuning and uh, and play around with it a little bit. I am going on graphical effects. Go to high display resolution and high CPU, and we'll click apply there. And for colors, there are there is a QT or a um, a Zephyr color that comes along with that package. So let's go and. We'll click on the Zephyr colors and apply that. And then under icons, we're going to switch to the flatter icons, which we downloaded, and apply that. And under fonts, I'm just going to leave that the same for right now. Um, I, I personally like the Ubuntu font. Some people don't, um, you know, do whatever it is that you like. Now, I will use uh, anti-aliasing, and uh, we're going to have that enabled. Use RGB, hinting style, slight, all that. Okay, so we're good there. All right, the next place that we will need to go to is this workspace appearance and we are going to select sc scroll on down until we find the QT curve and we're going to apply that and cursor theme I had already changed it to this uh, this black 
uh, oxygen black, which I, I like. Um, but you can see you got a fair number available, or you can go and install others your, uh, yourself. And desktop theme, I think I'm going to leave it as this Tabana. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But uh, I think that's that's fine for me. Now, the next thing I'm going to change, we're going to click on this desktop effects. And I'm going to change the animation speed. And the reason, to, let me click the menu here. And you can see it's kind of slow and sluggish on opening the menu. I'm going to change the animation speed to very fast apply and now you can see it's that's almost instant let's try let's let me take a look and see what fast is I think I like fast better you know it still gives you an animation uh, but it is very quick I think the um, the the very fast I mean you don't even you you almost don't see that there is an effect there so anyway um, and you know that's just me. You may like uh, a slower animation. I like it to be quick and snappy. So now that we've done that, let me get this thing out of the way. And now I'm going to change my uh, my desktop background. And for doing that, just right click on your desktop. And You've got, you know, all the pre-installed uh, KDE images that you can use for a uh, for a desktop wallpaper. You can go and click new, get new wallpapers, and it will search the internet for you. Or if you already have stuff installed on your desktop, or not installed, but you know, you've got say stuff in your picture file or whatever, you can go and install it from here. Uh, which is that is exactly what I've done right here. This is. Uh, you know, if you've watched my videos in the past, you probably recognize the the wallpaper that I made. We'll click apply and bring that. Yeah, I like that. And we'll just click OK. So that gives us the wallpaper that we want. All right, the next thing that I need to do is set up my panel. Now, I like a panel on the top, not along the bottom, as as is set up by default. Now, I could go. And go to my panel options, and uh, if you go to panel settings, you can grab on the screen edge here, and I could just drag it up there and then tweak this. Um, that is one way I could do it. Uh, but I figured I'd go ahead and just build an entire new panel just so that, uh, you know, one, I've got sort of a template down along the bottom, and then also for those that are unfamiliar with uh, setting up the panels, uh, you know kind of walk you through how to do it. So let's right click on our desktop, go to add panel, let's put an empty panel up there and click on the little cashew and now you can go and make some tweaks to it. Let's start by adding widgets. Now for the menu, I'm not a fan of the standard menu I have and I have added the uh, home run launcher to uh, to this desktop. Now, this is not included by default, but you um, you can go and get it from the regular repository. So, use the Muon Discovery, your package manager, however you like to install software, and just uh, add uh, Home Run Kicker and Home Run Launcher. The Home Run Launcher is full screen. Home Run Kicker is non full screen. Uh, the kicker is the one that I prefer, so I'm going to add that one. So I'm going to need that. I will need. I'm going to need the clock. So we're going to want the digital clock, which is what we see right there. And then I'm going to need. Uh, my tray, system tray, so let's add that. And then finally we need our task manager. I personally prefer there is a icon only task manager. That's what I'm going to use. Obviously you can use whatever you want, but personally I like it better because it uses up a whole lot less space. Alright, I'm going to click on the cashew so I can uh, 
I'm going to add a spacer and I'm going to put that in. Let's go and click that right there. All right. And I want it. Come on. The spacer can kind of be uh, awkward to, to work with sometimes. There we go. And I want to. Basically, I want the uh, the time centered up at least as mu as much as possible. There we go. That's what I want. That's good there. And you can see when you click on the time, you'll get your little um, calendar that drops down. Now I don't uh, I haven't configured contact yet, which um, you know it'll show. Uh, events and all those kind of thing after I get that uh, configured but uh, uh, that's not set up yet so anyway that's basically the look of what I want now with the home run kicker launcher I prefer to launch it with just the windows key uh, much like you can and uh, you know say gnome or even or even windows uh, however you cannot do that with default KDE. There is however something called K Super Key. You can install it on your system and it will allow you to use the Super Key or the Windows Key, whatever you want to call it. It will allow you to use that as a standalone key binding. And all you need to do is uh, down or uh, set up a repo, download the uh, download uh, K Super Key and then reboot your system and uh, boom you can go and do that. I will include instructions on how to do that down in the video description. Um, so since I have done that, let me go and I'll click on key super key. Actually, I want the um, there. You want the the settings and under keyboard shortcuts, you would just click here and then click whatever key you want to set the keyboard shortcut as. Now the one thing about this uh, key binding is, you know, it shows you right here that it's Alt plus F1, but click Apply, and it works as the super key. So uh, why it displays Alt plus F1, I don't know, but I do know that I can click the Windows key and the kicker menu pops up. I think that about finishes things up here. I'm gonna. You know, here now you can kind of see what a open window looks like. And let me open an application here. Um, we'll open up Caden Live. So it kind of gives you an, an idea what the applications will look like. I like the look. Um, you know, I might play around with the colors a little bit. You know, it's kind of a catch-22. I like the look of darker colors and the theming, but at the same time, um, you know, uh, maybe it's just my vision, but uh, uh, I think uh, the, the darker colors, you lose some visibility there. So maybe it's just me, but, you know, do whatever it is that you like. Uh, uh, that's one of the great things about, uh, about KDE and Linux in general is that you can set things up just the way that you want it. And uh, that being said, that about finishes this video up. Hope you found it useful and whatnot. Uh, as always, leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.